Peter Ryan, it's a great day today. Mm -hmm. Nice springtime sunshine. Far cry from what's coming tomorrow. We caught the American Bald Eagle flying right over his head and he snapped the picture. I just tweeted this out and said, if you, this doesn't get you fired up for the air show, look at that picture from Peter Ryan. Is that awesome? The Blue Angels, a spectacle. Frame this one right here. Peter Ryan's foliage from Roger Williams Park. That gorgeous, just a beautiful shot from earlier today. This was sunrise this morning. Peter Ryan says he was up early trying to get that sunrise. And Peter Ryan, one of the many geminid meteor shower photos from very early this morning. Peter Ryan posted this this morning. It was the full moon setting over Wilson Shanty in East Greenwich. This picture was sent to us by Peter Ryan. Take a look at that lightning in East Greenwich tonight. This one is spectacular from Peter Ryan. That is point you with light in the foreground, of course. And why not? One more from Peter Ryan. There's the Pell Bridge. Is that gorgeous? The moon, the Pell Bridge. This was uh, from the URI School of Oceanography. And one more for us from Peter with that full moon over Providence. This is gorgeous. It's so clear. And certainly it was a wet commute this morning. Peter Ryan noticing that. Look at the big puddles. Hey, Ryan's still pretty rough down in Narragansett. Hey, this is amazing, too. What a beautiful moonrise over Watch Hill Lighthouse. Is that incredible? Peter Ryan, real cool shot of that full moon. Maybe you saw it tonight uh, coming up on the horizon. And Peter Ryan saw the rising moon over the Newport Bridge tonight. And we also had another viewer sending this one in from Peter Ryan, taking a beautiful picture. Peter Ryan with a beautiful photo. Point you to tonight in the lighthouse. Isn't that gorgeous? Looking at the Orion Nebula, it's Pete Ryan. I think this little high-powered telescope, I don't think you can see that with the naked eye, but what a beautiful shot out there. Look at this one from Peter Ryan. Full blue moon with the Newport Bridge captured from Saunders Town. He, you know, he probably had to go, oh, no, let's just get the right shot. Beautiful. And Peter Ryan. It's Pete Ryan. Peter 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 Ryan. Is that Peter Ryan? Peter Ryan. 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 Says Peter Ryan. Frame this one right here. You know, he probably had to go. Oh no, it's the right shot. We're here with photographer Peter Ryan who has taken some amazing local photographs, including the one behind me. And you said that that photo is four years in the making? I'm telling you, four years in the making. Um, I had it in my head that that's the shot I wanted to get. And then um, I did the math on when it was going to come up and whatnot, and I went down there, and it came up way to the right. And I completely missed it. And so uh, the, n the next opportunity I had, it, uh, it rained that day. And so I had to wait three more months, and I waited three more months, and it was foggy out that day. And then a couple more months, it just didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work. And then I finally got there again, and I calculated wrong, and this time it came up to the left, and it's like, it, it, it was infuriating. So at what, what kind of moon was this that you were waiting for? It's a, a full moon coming up right over the center of the uh, uh, Newport Bridge, um, captured from Saunderstown. When you, when you capture it really far away from the, uh, from the object, the moon uh, appears to be a, a lot bigger. And so when it came up in the right spot, did you yeah. have an aha moment? And oh my God, you can't even imagine my heart was pounding because it comes up on the lower left and it started coming up and coming up and I'm coming up and I'm like, I can't believe it. this is actually happening. It's finally happening. And then it, it gets three quarters of the way up and I realize I'm not standing in the right spot. And I grab all my gear and I run about 100, 150 feet to the right, and I plop it all down, and I'm like, yes, this is it. And I, I take some more shots and some more shots, and then I realize I'm still off by a little bit. I grab my gear again, and I, I hover over to the right, maybe 25, 30 feet. I put it down. I take a shot, and it doesn't focus. And then the next shot I take, is that shot that nice. you see there. Yeah. I took about 450 shots that day. Now you have some other really cool uh, images. Uh, I particularly like the ones about the owl, the one in flight, and mm -hmm. then uh, the owl landing. This snowy owl has a, a unique story behind it. Uh, I've taken pictures of snowy owls before, and um, you, you're lucky to get within 800 feet of a snowy owl. They just don't socialize. They don't like being around people. But this one was banded, and we found out that it had gotten hit by a car in, uh, in Canada somewhere. And so it was in rehab, and my, our guess is because it was in rehab, it, it got to be friendly, friendlier around people. And so then it landed in Satuist uh, last winter, and it, it hung around there for three months, and it would literally land 10 feet in front of you, 
and, and let you take photos of it. I must have taken 3,000 photos of that. You have some other owls in here as well and mm -hmm. some other nature shots. What's more difficult, waiting four months for the moon shot or getting an <laughs> owl in flight? An owl in flight, that's a tough shot. You just never know when something like that's going to happen. Where can people find the photographs? Uh, I have a site on Facebook, uh, Peter J. Ryan Photography, and um, you, can, you can see them all there. There's, there's all kinds of photos that I take. I, I, I just do everything. Just as a hobby? You're just as a them? hobby. Oh, it's fantastic. The yeah. nature stuff is really cool. So oh, yeah. Congrats on your eye and your patience. <laughs> yeah, patience lots. Peter Ryan.